name is Muthu Bhagavathyanan. I'm an assistant professor with science at Texas A&M College Station. What you're seeing here is a ESD and NIFA foundational program funded research looking at multi-tactic approach for managing Johnson grass in sorghum production. This is a, a large scale experiment, about seven and a half acres, it was started in 2015. It's been ongoing for four years, and this is our final year of data collection. We are particularly looking at the above ground densities of Johnson grass, mainly the number of plants, uh, both rhizomatous as well as seedling Johnson grass that are establishing in each of the fields, as well as the soil seed bank size over a period of the four years in each of the plot. For example, in this plots with the standard treatment, uh, we are expecting to see a huge increase in soil seed bank size, and you can already see the uh, increase in above ground population of Johnson grass, whereas with the integrated management strategies, uh, we are hoping to see a, a huge reduction in soil seed bank size throughout this four year period. And uh, it's very obvious, even if you look at the the number of rhizomatous as well as the ceiling Johnson grass, it's, it's very rare to find in these plots. It's, a, it's an evidence that these programs are, or the integrated programs are very effective are in managing Johnson grass. As many of you know, there are no selective herbicides available for controlling Johnson grass in a grain sorghum field as a post-emergence application. Recently, industry came up with a sorghum technology. It's called Inzen sorghum. That's a ALS inhibitor resistant sorghum technology uh, resistant to the ALS inhibitor necosulfiron. It is uh, labeled as ZEST. So what we're trying to do here is in this Inzen technology, we want to see how best we can effectively manage Johnson grass with a, a pre-emergence application of atrazine followed by a post application of nicosulfiron at four to six inch wheat sizes. And we included a glyphosate desiccant at the time of crop harvest that really helps with controlling Johnson grass that had escaped the previous applications. Some of the additional treatments include seed collection and destruction. Again, it is a harvest wheat seed control method as well as a tillage treatment to allow the Johnson grass to regrow and then treat it with a ACCA's inhibitor herbicide. You can clearly see the impact of a multi-tactic strategy versus a, a, a standard herbicide-only strategy on Johnson grass management in grain sorghum fields. On the right, a standard herbicide program that's followed in a conventional sorghum it has atrazine as a pre-emergence application, and there is no selective herbicide to control Johnson grass as a post-emergence application. You see the standard program where Johnson grass completely took over the plots, and this is the dominant species. This is a very worst case scenario. And uh, last year, we weren't even able to harvest sorghum in these fields because of the you know, high level of Johnson grass infestation. Whereas on my left, included a combination of herbicide as well as non-herbicide tactics. And uh, with this integrated strategy, we were able to effectively control Johnson grass in these plots. And as you can see, these plots are very clean. These are like right next to each other, even with, you know, potential for the movement of rhizomes or like other propagules to the nearby plot we were still able to arrest the spread of the Johnson grass into these fields because of the integrated program that we used in these plots.